Hello and Happy New Year. It's 2024 and this is Al Gonzalez from Chimicum Elementary School um, recording this video for the Desmos Fellows Program cohort of 2024. And um, I teach science and math at Chimicum Elementary for fifth and sixth grade. And I just started using Desmos and um, it's amazing. I love it. And here are my favorite features. First of all, um, I just love the way your lessons are set up. I've got the sixth grade A1 uh, unit, and this is um, part six or lesson six, and it's all about uh, balancing equations and, and uh, expressions with variables. And the way your lessons are set up to have students explore and try things out to figure out what is going on, I find absolutely amazing. And the way that I can watch what students are doing uh, from one computer as they're all working is just super. Uh, I, I can't say enough good things about the way your lessons are set up. But we just had a unit assessment. And first of all, these are anonymous names. They're not my real students, so that's why I haven't blurred them out. Uh, but I can go in through the assessment grading and I can look at. So Desmos, you're grading uh, a lot of these for me. If the student got it right, they've got a four. By the way, kudos on using standards-based grading. Uh, it's it's fabulous. But if I see a student got a one, I can go in there and see, uh, you know, how close did they get? So first of all, you've got your rubric, you've got sample responses, you give me the teacher everything I need to uh, make it happen, to, to check my students understanding, to see how, how close they are getting, to be able to walk up to students as they're working and say, hey, uh, I, I notice you, you're, you're choosing this one. Can you tell me why? Now, of course, this was an assessment, so I uh, couldn't really do that until after the assessment where I had my students reflect on how they did. Uh, I could go in and say, hey, why did you come up with this response? So this is nice, um, but it wasn't helpful for me in terms of getting grades put on my gradebook which uh, we have an online grading system here in Washington State called Skyward. Well, you've got a feature that I see is in beta. And my coach from Desmos taught me about this. And boom, I love it. So I can export grades into an Excel spreadsheet. And that right there allows me to do so much because I've got all my students in a spreadsheet with all their scores. So let me open this up. And I'm going to move this over so I can hide my students' names. There. That way I don't have to use my blurring tool too much. Uh, so right now, I can see from your screens here. Here, let me fix this a little bit more. There we go. So screen one and screen 17 was the intro and, and the reflection screen. Uh, so they, they're not for grading. But I've got screens two through 16 with all their, their questions and all their answers. Well, I noticed that some of them are ungraded. Um, and these I can go into and check myself. So I see you've got these here. And I'm going to go in and make one of these clickable so I can click, go directly to uh, the grading. So I can look here student by student and go to the question that I was wondering, why isn't it scored? And I can tell which students haven't answered it yet and which students have. So I can go through and I can actually update these or change these myself. This is pretty quick and uh, efficient. 
because then I can go back here and put in a score, say it's a three or a two, uh, and then I can fill out my spreadsheet. And then I can have at a glance all my students and all their scores, uh, and I can then use this to come up with a, a I don't want to say average, but a score for this exam. Now I can break it down by the standards, which you make really easy and accessible. You've got the standard right here, which I can click on and uh, go right to what we're, what kids are learning, which is amazing right there. So I can put in my gradebook, grade six, expressions and equations, and I can have an idea of how my students are doing and which ones they're getting uh, or not. And you also explain your rubric, uh, which helps me decide, well, for this entire unit, I can see how my students are doing in terms of their overall understanding. Uh, so this is standards based and it doesn't just average but I can see if they're getting mostly fours with some ones uh, for some of the questions they got wrong. I can kind of determine which ones they're getting and which ones they're not. So I can come up with a, a good final score for that assessment. So having this spreadsheet is really helpful to me because when I have my students, I can actually add a column here and then I can use this column for a final score. A final score is helpful because in my gradebook for unit six on expressions and equations, I can have each student get one score to determine whether they are approaching standard or not quite there yet. Uh, or if they're meeting standard, I can score it that way. So this grading feature right here um export grades uh, i can't wait till it's out of beta because if you do any more improvements on it i really want to see um but right now it serves a good purpose for me and helps me keep track of my student scores in a place that i could change them easily because here it's it's uh pretty easy but it's not in a place that I could then copy and paste it onto my grading program. So that's the feature I've been uh, enjoying uh, in, in addition to everything else. So there you have it. The export to a spreadsheet is uh, 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 fantastic. I forgot the most important thing. So this is a feature request. Since you're still in beta, here's what I need. Um, the way I actually used this spreadsheet was when I filled it in with all the scores. So I had to go in and fill in all, all the blanks. Uh, I then had to print a paper copy of this spreadsheet and cut out every strip for each student because that's the only way I could find. And, and I asked my coach to let students know, hey, here are the ones you got right, and here are the ones you did not get right. Uh, what I need is a way that somewhere here or something, maybe add another export, export or share with students their scores. Once they're all done with the test, maybe they've taken Form B for a reassessment after they studied. Well, no, actually, even before that, they need to know what they got right and wrong so they know what to study and they know where they are being successful. So that's a feature I need added to this export grades or, or something is a way to have students uh, know after they're done with an exam what they got wrong and what they got right. Because right now having to cut a spreadsheet into little strips is not fun. And it, it even at, as big as I could make it, I had to uh, photocopy it onto an 11 by 17. It's still extra work that Desmos should be able to do. So please, please, please find a way to give us that feature. Thank you.